Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about one more interesting stuff related to the Oracle DBA or I can say that it's not specific to the Oracle DBA. It is specific to all the technology and we call it as a root cause analysis. Some people are also calling it as a RCA. Now, what is this root cause analysis? And first of all, let me <coughs> tell you one thing that I got this video request from one of my subscriber and he has commented that after watching my incident management YouTube video, he is asking me to create one video on root cause analysis. So what we do in the root cause analysis? Let's try to understand one by one. While you're working with the one of the project like Oracle DBA, you'll be working with multiple incident, right? So we may have P1 incident, P2 incident, P3 and P4. Some people are also calling it as a critical, high, medium and low type of incident. Now let's talk about the P1 kind of incident, which is very, very critical. Let's say one of your database is down and that is getting impacted to uh, multiple users, maybe thousands of users are getting impacted because of the database. In such case, they are going to raise P1 kind of ticket. Now, what is the difference between this P1 incident and when we need to go for the root cause analysis? Assume that certain incidents are there which are impacting to the number of users are very huge. You know, whole application is down, multiple users, thousands of users are getting impacted. If I just want to tell you one real time example is that is our WhatsApp, Facebook was down for a few hours, right? So that was a huge impact on the business of WhatsApp and Facebook. Even you might have seen that their share, ma share market is also goes down their Their share values also goes down because of this outage. So that's a big problem. So what they will do, they will first, first of all, they will try to fix that issue. First of all, they will try to fix that issue. And then later on, their team, uh, like a technical team, and there are some of the team like your incident management team, your client, all those people, whole management will come together and they will discuss about this issue like why that issue has been came in the when everything was, was going good. What was the reason? So basically, you know, when you want to, you know, discuss about certain issue, there will be always Y tag, W H Y. Why? Let me take one example. Database was down. Why database was down? So you need to respond. The technical team will respond saying that why database was down. Then you will say that the database was down due to the archive log area is full. Just giving them an example. Okay. Why archive log area was full? Then you will say that there are multiple users. They have written insert statement because of that only your database went into the hung state. Why people then again the incident management people will ask why they have fired the client have or users have fired the insert statement without notifying to the DBA team. So every answer there will there will be why will be there. And likewise, they are trying to find out the root cause analysis so that such a type of issue will not come in the future and you will be ready along with the solutions. That is called root cause analysis. So all these things, all the answers, technical answers and everything will be documented and will be shared with the client client will review that and if the client is getting satisfied then and only then that p1 ticket will get closed some people are also calling it as a problem <coughs> problem prb in service now incident start with inc in service now is also one of the famous tool for the incident management so we have multiple tools are there like incident management like when you have say that we have a service now we have a bmc remedy many others are there but at this point, let's talk about the service now. But this RCA document is not something specific to the service now. Okay, it is it is a generic document, even though it is not specific to Oracle DBA. You can take any example. 
so this rca is really really important rca document to make sure that such a type of issues will not come in the future and you will be ready for that without submitting the rca document the p1 ticket will not be closed and your client will not be satisfied so you need to be ready with all the answers along with the justification so this is all about the rca document okay i just take one example there are multiple examples you can take and many times you know whenever you go for an oracle dba interview or maybe spark interview hadoop interview anywhere the people will ask you such a type of issues like okay did you handle any p1 kind of ticket if yes what was that have you provided any rca document if yes what was that so it will be a kind of cross questionings will be there okay so if you are looking for real time database training you can reach out to me apart from this if you are looking if if you just want to learn a free of course my youtube channel is there i have my website called learnomade.org there you can go and there are multiple courses are there starting from shell scripting we have oracle database interview question answers sql course unix course lot of things are there on my website go there and it is very cheap compared to the market and i tried my best to deliver each and every content over there thank you so much please do like subscribe and share this channel